know uh, it was sent out the notice to uh, organize and turn in names, and it was uh, when I was finally said, well, I've got some names I could turn in. It says, well, we've already just voted, and it's unanimous. I said, I said who? They said, Jay. I said, I agree. <laughs> but anyway, Jane uh, came to us in 1986. You probably moved back here. You moved here about the same time as Luke. That's when all these things started happening in town. Now we know why. But Jane was born in Baton Rouge, grew up partially in Mississippi, mainly in Missouri, did you tell me St. Louis, and then attended LSU, then attended the University of Texas where she <coughs> met Charles, is that right? And I told Jane, unfortunately, she has attended the uh, University of Texas that did not get the opportunity to join the SEC. <laughs> <laughs> Since Texas A&M is now in the Southeastern Conference. But Jane said what led her to social work and covering all things in that manner. She was first led to journalism. Can you tell with her 10-page, 40-page, 50-page, 60-page calendar of <laughs> that journalism is true to her blood. Her grandfather was instrumental in beginning the School of Journalism at LSU, and your father, who still resides, now resides in Louisiana. Jackson. Jackson. Louisiana? Jackson. Florida, Jackson. that's right. He told me he was here. But he is a graduate of LSU Journalism School. And Jane thought that she would follow in their footsteps in journalism. But while she was at the University of Texas, she began volunteering for a phone crisis line. <coughs> and she said that is what led her into social work, whether it be uh, sometimes working most of the time in a volunteer basis for all kinds of organizations, and if not specifically <coughs> working for a certain organization, making the community aware of what that organization was attempting to do or accomplish. 